I'm not gonna lie. I've always wanted that alien watch that would turn you into crazy creatures. Like, look how sick this looks. What's up, Chaos here? Ben 10 was the coolest. Literally having green drip on his wrist, but being able to transform into any alien was the dream. I mean, yeah, it was random at times and really painful looking. What the f- Yeah, today I wanna examine all the transformations from the original series and rank them because I would love to explain how a random kid can survive molten oh. lava. <laughs> Dude, I can't even survive a tan. But first up, we have the alien heat blast. I I'm pretty sure this is his first hero. Listen, it's been a while since I've seen the show, but, but just seeing this initially, like it looks painful. <laughs> Imagine hot coal just growing from your skin. It's kind of like having acne randomly pop up. Like I've done my research. His inner body is plasma covered by volcanic rock. <laughs> like I'd be freaking out. I love the final form and his transformation. I do fuck with it. But compared to the other outlandish and crazy transformations that we'll see later in the video, I'll have to take my boy Heat Blast and put him in a good ranking that fits him the best. And that's gonna have to be in the amazing category. Listen, okay, like I said, there's gonna be others. Maybe I'll move him around and he might end up being straight cheeks compared to all these others. Next up, we've got a fan favorite or a, one that just people forgot about completely. The alien upgrade. Like this guy's a straight blob with like digital tattoos. I mean, all these aliens are unique though. The fact that upgrade can latch onto any piece of technology and take control of it, then upgrading it. If it was for him, we would have like an iPhone 20 by now. But let's see the actual transformation. It always starts from the wrist I'm noticing and it always goes straight up to the arm to the face. It just looks painful in this position here. Looks like it fuses his eyes together, becoming one digital circle, like the ones you probably see on your TV at night. And all of a sudden he's big blob. Oh, and wait, I'm going in depth with this. In the show, Ben's average height is 5'6". He's on a short king shit. An upgrade being a shapeshifter at his neutral height is 6'5". Now imagine a young boy just stretching to the appropriate size of what females like in an instant. Oh. Sounds pretty painful to me. I mean, I really like the design to upgrade. I mean, shit. I I like all the designs. I'm not too picky, but straight blob with tattoos, you get, um, you get good for transformation. Like it, it does seem super simple. Like, I mean, how much can you do with a blob, right? His powers would be in top tier, but because we're doing transformations, it's, it's just good. And maybe I'll make a video like that next time. But until then we take a look at another alien with a crazy, but also unexpected transformation. A real fan favorite, Wild Mutt. Hey, listen, I, I've always wanted a dog growing up and stuff. Like, even though if the dog was blind, that's pretty much what Wild Mutt is. It's a blind dog that was just dyed orange for some reason, but they really put emphasis on all the veins growing through his arm here for some reason. Then his eyes pop and open, but his eyes end up disappearing anyway. But seeing him kind of turn into a werewolf here is the sickest thing with the hair growing on his face and back. And then the claws, oh dude. I was pretty much hyped every time I would see Wild Mutt. Even though he sounded like a dying dino or horse. And then when he became Wild Mutt, he was kind of stupid and dumb. But the way he would navigate as this creature our alien would be so cool and unique. I mean, dude, the writers for Ben 10 and even the art designers, they were they were just cooking. They were on their shit. Especially to think of 10 unique aliens and then later on 10,000 more. I mean, if I were ranking the writers to the show, they would get top tier. But seeing what I saw, Wild Mutt, he would get a solid, um, uh, amazing. I mean, hopefully you guys aren't pissed about the position Bruh. here. But anyway, going back to Wild Mutt real quick, I think in the show, I remember him always getting bodied in this form. It was a blind dog. Like, what do you, don't kick him around. Like all of his enemies would be acting like Michael Vick. But next up, we've got arguably the strongest alien in his arsenal, XLR8. As a kid, I'd be saying accelerate because like didn't really get it. XLR8 means accelerate is just, ugh, God damn it. Ben was a genius when it came to names, all right? But looking like a weird raptor with Healy's on, XLR8 was by far my favorite when it came to his powers. Transformation wise though starts from the arm again goes straight up to the face his eyes glow and it's pretty fast his feet fuse together it seems like showing off the tail the mask slams down I i'm pretty sure that tail keeps him like balanced too the transformation it's pretty fast i mean i guess it implies that his powers are fast and that's what he do so damn it sucks to say like as much as i love accelerate i might have to give him the um eh category. Listen, I dude, love the powers, okay? Because he has enhanced speed. He can create fire and water vortexes, enhanced agility, um, and, and a lot of enhanced shit. Um, wall scaling. Oh, I've seen him actually run up walls and over water, obviously. And overall top speed, he can run at 888 miles per hour. Next, we have a hero who's the definition of like what that mouth do. And I don't even remember him from the original series, but it's the alien Upchuck. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. This motherfucker's got me burping just looking at him. Looks like a weird guinea pig hamster looking fuck with like giant throat. Hey, listen, I, I'm not judging, but could have been inspired by an Oompa Loompa. Every time I would see this transformation though in the show, it would be super quick and simple. 
kind of just a flash of light and then him turning into this short creature oh my god and doing that <laughs> what the f why like this is obviously later on in the in the series so i'm sure they wanted the speed certain animations up i mean this is a kid's show they were testing out mr beast retention back then but i really wish they would animate how ben would transform into this little dude but most of the time he'd just be getting his ass whipped by enemies some of the coolest power ever swallowing shit and then spitting it back out with a fiery blast but again this is all about transformations here and i thought i was in luck with ben 10's grown-up series they show him transforming into upchuck but then it's just like a weird animation of like ooze and then boom he's he's small and tiny and then he opens up his throat to swallow some energy yeah i don't know up chuck i think you deserve a nice spot all the way at the fucking bottom straight cheeks maybe that's what that mouth really do with straight cheeks i don't know what i'm saying you get the first lowest rank in this video but we swim over to the next alien a classic from the original series his transformation is pretty badass and guess who it is the alien rip jaws it starts with the watch growing scales and then this this is just painful look at his eyes close and then all of a sudden this little eye thing comes out oh i would say the most detailed transformation i've seen so far like the animators went crazy with the pen here i would say ben is in agonizing pain like come on you can see it on his face his dna is being just reconstructed why do they put so much detail in rip draws i, I don't know but i love how unique this alien looks like it's obviously like based off of those weird lonely ass fish in the sea but, like one was featured in spongebob like even that thing looked freaky i wouldn't doubt that ben would eat human in this form like I, i'm not gonna put it past him but for abilities he's got enhanced swimming he can make underwater vortexes <laughs> mouth expansion Height. um okay glowing eyes breathing underwater blah, blah 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 yeah you know but out of the transformations we've seen so far i would say this is the most unique the most detailed i mean there's other aliens with crazier designs that we'll be seeing soon in this video like gray matter diamond head even forearms in the case of rip jaws i i mean his name is super sick too he belongs top tier yo 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 don't hate i can see you lashing out in the comments already like fuck an angry mob but the animators cooked baked and fried and you know it oh wait hold on the next one is one of my favorites even though he's on the short side his brain is insane a technological genius and arguably one of like the faces of ben 10 i would say like i if i saw this character i know the show gray matter like this short fuck be fucking oh. and i'm pretty sure he was ben's 10th alien or I, hmm, i'm not sure someone fact check me on that but his arms expand. Everything starts growing largely on his body, making him look like a typical alien, but he ends up shrinking down to almost microscopic size. Eh, he's like the size of an action figure, but there's actually a toy that I bought ages ago where they made him a little bit bigger than a shoe, like a size 11 shoe. But if we slow down the transformation, I just like the fact that everything just kind of starts growing on him. Like we've got the hands, then we've got the Omnitrix on the back. His hair slowly starts receding like a 40 year old as his eyes become bigger. And then all of a sudden his entire body gets smaller. This transformation is simple, but it's it's fun. I do find it funny when they did the live action movie, they, they tried their best to animate this accurately and it was just goofy yeah i might make a whole different video on like the, the live action shit it was bad so for the crazy case of gray matter super smart intellectual creature he rewires the omnitrix a few times but he belongs in a good sweet spot of the good transformation if anything i should just rename this to like good slash fun yeah there we go good so yeah it ain't eh. It ain't amazing. It's just kind of like neutral and shit. Okay, I might be glazing, but dude, I like all the aliens and the designs. I'm sure we all can agree that Cannonbolt was literally top tier alien, but his transformation, I don't remember, but let's check it out. Okay, yeah, that also looks painful. <laughs> dude, inflates like fucking Majin Buu. And then he spirals out of control like he just ate a bunch of donuts, becoming Cannonbolt and thick. I mean, minus his face, I, I would say his other design features like padding on his back him going into ball form I, I love so much but the transformation does the character justice like he, he gets big and he inflates i'm not hating on there's not i have nothing against fat people big people big bone people never mind but seeing what this alien can do just it always blows my mind zipping around hitting shit ricocheting off of different enemies and whatnot he was like my childhood giant pinball machine but compared to the others i would have to say his transformation was uh, it was it wasn't eh, that's for sure it was definitely just good for example like would i survive like a change like that fuck no i would probably pop next up we've got an alien that's a damn near mummy why is there an alien species that looks like this i don't know cultural appropriation at its finest but hey i don't care it, it looks cool still it's ben mummy or snarno snarno snar i'm yeah it kind of feels like they just drew up this character 
just for the fun of it. Trust me, his design is cool and all, but in the animated series, I really wish they would have went into depth on how he would transform because Ben simply scrolls his dial and then boom, he flashes into this alien on, I'm pretty sure on accident too, but ah, yeah, I don't know. Not really one of my favorites. Uh, maybe because it just flashes into him. Like, would it be cool to have like crazy Egyptian powers and have toilet paper wrapped around me? Like for sure, hell yeah. I can wipe my ass at any time. But because we only saw a flash of light and then him turning into him, it gets straight cheeks. Straight cheeks is what I'll be wiping with my fucking rags on my body. Oh, but the next alien, the transformation for this guy. Oh, it's just it's the bee's knees. Uh, or should I say flies? knees because we have stink fly it's hero time. dude oh even before ben hits the watch that's iconic the fingers are fused together his eyes shut and then launching out four other eyes and then the fact that his legs and wings rip out of his back it's just fucking gnarly all for him to turn into a fly that gets smacked eventually <laughs> no this fly is like at least five foot tall and it, and he reeks like really fucking bad even the grandpa's freaked out by this there was always three of the aliens that always felt similar to me stink eye rip jaws and accelerate and for sure the eye transformation reminds me a lot of rip jaws but i love the fact that they captured it in a, a different way like these guys are the imagineers when it came to make, making aliens the most unique aliens i've ever seen because when i see movies those aliens are kind of fucking lame like look at et's design compared to some of these fuckers <laughs> like how do you think of a fly that looks like this but in the smelly case of stink fly i'm going to have to put him all the way to amazing spot like trust me it's amazing i just i was hoping for more and it wouldn't be considered top tier in my eyes but i think it's time for me to get into one of my favorites and probably the best transformation in the Ben 10 universe a strong motherfucker who can lift 10,000 women if you wanted we've got good old forearms this would this is literally like the most rememberable veins popping through his body oh the two extra arms popping out of his ribs it looks like super fucking simple doesn't really show the transformation for his eyes or his toes but my god dude the way they showcase the arms and like the veins of everything forming muscle was always just sick to me i, I would say it was bull too brutal for like a, a kid's cartoon show and the fact that ben's height increases significantly as well as his strength like my guy has been skipping the gym just straight to the massive muscles on his body it still seems like forearm skips leg day oh my god i've also just noticed that he's got four different eyes too that has to be painful for the transformation but what we see visually here still makes up for it could they have shown more yeah the detailing with those arms popping out it really just sells me so for that simple fact we put four arms and we take them all the way to the top tier position also if i didn't he'd probably find me beat me up with all different arms maybe even his legs maybe there's some muscle located there <coughs> doubt it though and you thought that was the craziest transformation so far nah we've, we've got someone even better a transformation that kind of like spans throughout an entire episode so we enter ben wolf it essentially starts off with ben running away from this alien werewolf it catches up to him and scratches the living shit out of his omnitrix like does he have insurance for this thing <laughs> like this furry owes me a new watch but with all that happening the dna of this wolf gets into the omnitrix and then slowly turning ben into a, a werewolf kind of creature i'm pretty fucking colorblind but i think he becomes blue and then starts growing to Toes and extra hair on his chin. Yeah, puberty is crazy, I know. The ears pop up and then all of a sudden it becomes more of a wolf hybrid when finding food in the RV. I never really understood how his shirts always expanded on these creatures. Like Ben still has his regular shirt on when he turns into like full wolf at this point. But then near the end of the episode, he becomes the one and only Ben Wolf with his Omnitrix forming onto his chest in more of a cleaner look. He's pretty much a giant talking werewolf. Damn near a furry who would participate in a, a con. Hey, nothing against furries. I'm just saying like that's. I see this dude walking around in public. That's what I would think. But I really like the fact that this is super unique and, and it just takes place over the course of the episode. Like if anything, it slows down that Omnitrix animation. So when watching this as a kid, it was pretty cool to see like an actual werewolf transformation because most of the time werewolves do slowly transform. Like we've seen that Michael Jackson thriller shit. Sometimes slow is good. And because of that, we're going to take Ben Wolf and put him in the amazing category. This next one might not just be amazing. It, it might get the top tier list only because it's a bit oh. freaky. Oh, everyone loves freaky shit, right? But in this case, I'm talking scary, spooky, freaky. We've got Ghost Freak where his skin becomes translucent. You can see his skeleton, which is the coolest shit in the world. I'm surprised they went with this dark approach. A black blob with an eye that pops out. 
slowly becoming tangible to reveal his final form as a ghost. Super simple. I love the fact that they show his skull. I wish they showed more of the body, like the whole skeleton. But like, really, what else can you do with a ghost character? It would have been cool to see maybe his like eyeballs melt and then fusing into that like weird eyeball that we get. But I've always loved Ghost Freak. Just the fact that it, it gives off that dark undertone by showing off his skull. Like, again, in a kid's TV show. But of course, it's crazy to think that you're human turning into a ghost like obviously not possible in the real world but like i said with the eyeball imagine it just becoming ooze and then your bones i don't know maybe dissolving just just disappearing where the fuck do they go like how is this even possible for ben to do a lot of the other aliens that we already saw are pretty much physical and tangible you can they're solid objects so because of what ben turned into ghost freak literally a ghost who can phase through walls have invincibility body possession i forgot about that one. Oh my god he's got telekinesis too uh, overpowered as fuck i think it's safe to say we can put ghost freak in the best spot all the way up to top tier again we're, we're, we're just ranking transformations here i feel really bad about <laughs> accelerates because otherwise what we were talking about like just the aliens themselves we'd put them up here but uh you know um hey next up we've got an alien with a cool form uh don't really remember him though but he is in the original series i don't remember his transformation but we've got frankenstreak am i am i saying that right but it's pretty much a frankenstein monster which again i'm kind of confused on how this would be an alien at one point but we, we got oh the transformation is kind of what the fuck? yo <laughs> no shot okay i do love the detailing when it came to like his feet getting 10 times the size they are. I mean, you know what they say about big feet. I mean, this animation style for this Ben 10 is slightly different, but the fact that it, it everything kind of like just oozes out, pops open, it's a bit grotesque, you know? I mean, so is the final form, so it, it makes sense for what the character is. It seems like Ben keeps a smile on his face throughout this entire transformation. It looks painful, but I think he fucks with that shit as these electrical pylons just pop out of his back. Breaking streak, strine, whatever the fuck. From what I've seen, just in this transformation alone, I'm gonna have to put this in good and fun mostly because it wasn't just a flash of light and the animators seem to have taken some time with this for sure especially with his, his shirt ripping off but i think this is a solid spot for him oh my god how did i almost forget about this dude i, I would say this was one of my favorites even though i'm not really a fan of like veggies or vegetable i ain't vegan either I i'll make this guy an exception and I'll eat him. What? We've got Wild Vine. Dude, all the alien transformations that I have saw after 10 felt super special to me. The vines coming up from his chest as he gets weird eyeballs and, and eggplant popping out of his back. Um, yeah, you can see how the creation here was well planned. I loved how they incorporated this like Venus flytrap look to his head transformation. Goes in as Ben, pops out as green vegan creature. And it showcases one eyeball on his face, but I'm pretty sure there's the eyeballs on his shoulders too. My man's got free range, aware at all angles. It looks painful with like all the eggplant emojis coming out of his back. It just didn't seem as detailed though. Even though I liked it a lot, I do think that Wild Vine kind of belongs in just the good and fun category. This next guy and his transformation makes me really sad. Like I have 20-20 vision, but this man, Eye Guy, is literally the eyeball of the universe. Like, do you need to see this much? And also, wouldn't you just get shit in your eye all the time? Like, I would fucking hate this. But the transformation is, um, it doesn't really show it most of the time. In that first instance, it is just a flash, but there are other times in the reboots where you kind of see him transforming, and if we were to slow this down, I love how quick but organic it looks. We just saw Wild Vine, like they did the eyeballs perfectly there, just having him spray out randomly and they could have done this too with i guess this guy but hold on wait pause what, what is his powers anyway oh wow he's got 360 vision <laughs> okay cool energy beams okay expandable chest expandable eyes oh that's a crypto uh okay uh, uh, cryo electricity fire blast freeze rays wait what the is there not a freeze oh. alien i, I could have swore hmm. most importantly though he's got chemical detection i wonder if he uses his I don't know. His 20 eyeballs to do so. In my opinion, low tier alien, but high tier reading level. We're putting eyeball to ass. Definitely bringing a case of pink eye, but hey, kind of deserved, dude. Yo, we've got two more transformations left. And the next one, oh, takes the cake. I, I want to say, I'm, I hopefully I can put this in top tier. Don't know yet, because I don't remember his transformation, but it's the iconic, the classic diamond head. One of the first aliens that we actually see Starting off with the wrist, crystallizing all over through his fingers. Again, it, it gives me like acne vibes. With how sharp these diamonds are coming out of my face, I, I freak out, okay? Like, it, this has to be painful. Ben here, he's calm, collected. Like, I really wish they added more emphasis to how much pain you would be in when this happens. Because I'm sure it, it starts off super solid inside of you and then pokes out of your skin. Like, we've seen Wolverine in pain, come on. Like, they should make a rated R Ben 10 movie, I don't know. 
but then we have more diamonds and crystals shooting out of his back yeah my dude might need a whole ass massage after this and then straight into the heroic pose of diamond head listen i am really trying my best not to be like biased here okay i mean i love diamond head i love that transformation like the nostalgia is really kicking in for this dude but uh as much as i want to put him in top tier where he seems to belong i think i'm gonna put him in amazing god i really uh, really wanted to put him up here i just we gotta at least see who the last alien is right because this last alien <laughs> i don't even want to hype him up but like apparently though this is like everyone's favorite and it is none other than way big do you know how tall this dude like sitting on his shoulder you'd be like i can see my house from here type shit you can skydive off of his head he would probably sit on you by accident but listen with some modifications by gray matter ben was able to unlock a whole new beast a sort of shaquille o'neal of the alien universe i think he's just way way too big to even see the transformation we get the shadow growing as you can see on Gfilgax here but my god menacing towering over everyone but unfortunately every time he does transform it's a flash of light and then it kind of just happens like i want to see this dude break his knees and then regrow them and, and then he's like big you know like, like he has such a cool character design like his face and everything in his arms for them to kind of showcase that would have been cool like yeah we get like a big zoom in of this but that's pretty much all like we're getting teased here at this point oh wait hold up wait a minute in the reboot series we kind of do get him growing and, and that was that was kind of freaky uh do i like what they did there they made it very quick and it didn't seem painful enough and then we have the super kid animated reboot where it does show him expanding like crazy but really less detailed like his socks kind of just morph into this creature i the animators weren't cooking they were just eating shit raw everything's just going in more of a simple direction at this point the character though of way big is too unbeatable like i said th this character can pretty much do the shack meme with any other alien on the list so for him i think maybe you guys can decide because i'm a little indecisive when it comes to this based off a of transformation we yeah we're definitely going to put him in eh category but when it comes to full scale power and just design look yeah he would definitely be top tier and guess what i have a better idea i want to take all these aliens modify the omnitrix and upgrade these creatures in my next video and if you guys want to see that let's hit this like goal because i've got some really good ideas but until then click here on screen to see me upgrade the best suits in spider-man 2.